will the Congress reward the most popular face in Karnataka, that is Siddharamaya? Can the Congress find a formula that is acceptable to all, you know, without fraying any feathers, without angering one person or the other, without, you know, leaving bad blood and discontent, which is a, which would be a very unfortunate thing after such a huge victory. Number three, are religious seers playing a role in the selection? That's actually a rhetorical question. Of course, they're trying to play a role. Whether they play a role or not is not known. Could this collective leadership that had been used to project Siddharamaya and D.K. Shivakumar as united, could it completely collapse? Or has it already collapsed with this, with this uh, you know, very aggressive tussle now for the top post? Can the Gandhis, because ultimately it's about the Gandhis, it's not really just about Malikarjun Kharge. If the Gandhis don't agree, nothing can happen. Can the Gandhis ensure that all these competing ambitions are managed in a peaceful manner. That's really the key question right now. Because like I said, managing egos, managing ambitions, uh, the Congress has been a past master at it. But right now, one year before 2024, many more state elections to go this year, including very importantly Rajasthan. Can the Congress afford many of the pitfalls that lie ahead if a wrong decision is taken? Sagai, uh, uh, the muscle flexing has happened both Mr. Siddharamaya and D.K. Shivakumar have had their say. Their supporters have spoken. Posters have gone up everywhere. What's going to happen tonight in Bengaluru? I'm very curious. Uh, because because uh, all the movers and shakers, as it were, have now taken a flight or are about to take a flight and fly to Delhi. What's going to happen today in Bengaluru? The supporters of uh, bo bo both the camps will be observing carefully what will be the development in Delhi and what will be the final outcome in Delhi. Uh, what we also get to learn is Wakaliga community has called for a massive march tomorrow where they will hmm. be marching from Maurya Circle towards Freedom Park where they are demanding that D.K. Shukumar to be made as the next Chief Minister of Karnataka. And they are advocating that Siddharamaya has already got a chance. Now, mm. it is the chance of uh, uh, D.K. Shukumar, who is also a KPCC president. They, are also cited, they have also cited that last time uh, there was a chief minister in Karnataka was when S.M. Krishna was made, up, made as a, yes. a chief minister from Okaliga community. After that, they never had a chief minister from Okaliga community from Congress and they believe that this is the best chance and this best time for Congress to go ahead and uh, okay. appease the Wakaliga community. Remember, seven out of six seats won in Mandia, which has been dominated by JDS. Yes. And uh, it is all because uh, that uh, DK Shukumar has, uh, has, uh, has proposed that he might be the chief minister if uh, Congress wins from those Wakaliga belt. Wherever he went there, he said, Nanu Nimma Mane Maga, I'm your son. I'm your son of your uh, yes, house, so please vote for me. And this was his USP when he reached out the Wakaliga's uh, belt. So probably that is one of the reasons why even the Wakaliga communities are backing him that this is the time that they have to get all due respect. Okay, this is a massive chessboard. Viewer, this is a huge chessboard, giant chessboard if I can call it that, that stretches between Bengaluru and New Delhi. The chess pieces include the Gandhis, D.K. Shivakumar, Siddharamaya, the Lingayat spheres, the Vokkaliga spheres, the Ahinda uh, you know, community, and of course then there are all the voters and the electorate of Karnataka that has given the Congress this massive mandate and is now waiting for leadership clarity. Will that clarity come in the next 24 hours or even sooner? We'll have to wait and watch. There are pitfalls on all sides. The Congress has to maneuver very, very delicately.